Cell cycle is a series of events that take place in a cell, resulting in the duplication of DNA and division of cytoplasm and organelles to produce two daughter cells. It was discovered by Prevost and Dumas in 1824 while studying the cleavage of zygote of frog. It is a series of stages a cell passes through to divide and produce new cells, which is necessary for a living organism to grow. Human cells exhibit typical eukaryotic cell cycle and take around 24 hours to complete one cycle of growth and division. The duration of the cycle, however, varies from organism to another and from cell to cell. A tumor, however, is an abnormal growth of tissues that may or may not be cancerous. It happens when a disruption in cell cycle occurs that shuts of the breaks of the cycle and the cell keeps dividing rapidly, consuming nutrients in the body, leading to a malnutrition state called cachexia. There are two types of tumors which may be benign or malignant. In most cases, the outlook with benign tumors is very good. But benign tumors can be serious if they press on vital structures such as blood vessels or nerves. Even though they do not possess a toxic effect, only their size determines whether they are harmful or not. A malignant tumor is a group of diseased cells defined by one of three characteristics. Uncontrolled growth, invasion and damage of healthy cells, or metastasizing to other organs of the body. They differ from benign tumors, which do not spread or affect other areas of the body. The metabolism of cancer cells differs markedly from that of healthy cells. It is now becoming clear that these differences may be a driving force of cancer cells. For example, cancer cells consume far more glucose to generate energy and to produce materials that support cell division. Until recently, these features were considered just another way cancer cells differ from healthy cells. But it is now becoming clear that these metabolic changes may be one of their driving forces. This insight will open the way to new approaches that treat cancer by disrupting cancer cell selective metabolic pathways, resulting in more effective and less toxic drugs. Cancer cells often abandon the efficient energy-producing pathways used by most cells and shift to alternative strategies that yield less energy but generate more materials needed to build new cells. When a series of mutations leads the cells to continue to grow and divide out of control, normal cells become cancerous. Of the approximately 22,000 genes in human cells, several hundred are involved in the process of cell division. These genes ensure that division occurs in an orderly controlled manner, that each step in the process occurs in the right order at the right time with the right prompts and the right pace. And that after a certain number of divisions the cell dies. Sometimes, a gene will acquire an abnormality that interferes with its ability to function. This can take several forms such as mutations, translocation, and copying errors. These errors can occur in a variety of ways. In some cases, they may be inherited from a parent. More often, they arise during one's life as a result of exposure to harmful chemicals such as those found in tobacco, exposure to too much ultraviolet light from the sun, or simply bad luck. A mistake made during the process of DNA duplication during cell division. It is very difficult for a normal cell to become cancerous, which may seem surprising considering that one in two men and one in three women will develop cancer in their lifetime. The explanation is that in the normal body, roughly three billion cells divide every single day. Most of the time, these non-inherited errors, known as somatic mutations, can be corrected by the cell. Cells have a variety of mechanisms for proofreading their DNA, for verifying that the letters of the genetic code are in the proper order and, when they are not, replacing them with the right letters. When the genetic derangements are so extensive that the cell cannot function normally, or that cell division threatens to veer out of control, special genes order that the cell die, for the good of the body as a whole. Although these mutations give cancer cells a survival advantage over normal cells, they also create dependency, the cancer cell literally cannot live without them. Targeting such mutations with specially designed drugs remains one of the greatest areas of promise in cancer medicine.